What's up guys? Today's video is on the top 5 best budget graphics cards in 2022. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. If you want to pay the lowest possible price and still get a solid product, we say check out the Evka GeForce RTX 3050 XC, the best ultra cheap budget graphic card on the market in 2022. We're looking at the first RTX graphics card in this price range based on NVIDIA Ampere architecture with improved CUDA cores. It also has 8GB of GDDR6 memory, which is a great update for those who have a graphics card from a few years ago and are looking for a gaming tech upgrade with all the latest features such as ray tracing and DLSS. This card also has a 1777 MHz boost, a compact cooling system with a double fan that will allow it to be installed in any case without problems and low consumption. The device requires a single 8-pin PCIe connector, which is more than enough to provide the 130 volts this card needs. Finally, the package also includes three DisplayPort 1.4a ports and HDMI 2.1, which have the latest achievements in graphics connections, despite being a low to mid-range card. In terms of gaming, RTX 3050 performance at 1920x1080 resolution is very good, exceeding 60 FPS at maximum quality in almost all games, and can be reached by lowering the graphics settings a bit, for example from ultra to very high in those who do not. In some games, we can even use DLSS to raise the graphics even more without losing the quality of the graphics, so without a doubt, this is a very good option for gaming at this resolution and price range. The performance is not bad at all when playing with ray tracing plus DLSS, reaching 60 FPS in almost all games. And in those that do reach 60 FPS, by lowering the settings a bit, we can reach them without problems. You can continue to maintain a very good graphic quality thanks to ray tracing. The RTX 3050 is also a very good option for those who want to stream their games. For the listed price, we are beyond impressed. If you want the top bang for the buck, we say check out the Asus Tough Gaming NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 V2OC, also known as the best value budget graphics card on the market in 2022. This model is based on the same 8nm GA104 GPU by Samsung as the RTX 3060 Tie and RTX 3070, with 12GB of GDDR6 memory. It'll give you improved energy efficiency as well as twice the throughput of the FP32. Also included in mix is the DLSS Advanced Algorithm, as well as third-generation Tensor Cores. These cores give you completely new and innovative AI capabilities. The device also packs the new Axial Tech fan design that has more blades and reverse direction rotation. The outer shell appears to be simple, with a matte black finish and the illuminated Tough Gaming logo on top. The device needs an 8-pin PCIe connector, and next to it, you see a switch that allows you to choose between performance mode and silent mode, so it has a dual BIOS that always comes in handy for those who like to change it. On the back of the card, we find a brushed alumina background that protects the components and helps to cool the VRM. Both at full capacity and under OC, it's around 55 degrees Celsius with a noise level of 40 decibels, really top-notch values that show we have too big of a cooler for this card, which is ideal for those looking for silence. Compared to the Founders Edition, it maintains sound but improves temperatures by no less than 15 degrees Celsius. For the listed price, you can't beat this one. Up next, we present to you the MSI Gaming Radeon RX 6700 XT, also known as the best AMD budget graphics card available on the market in 2022. When we fully unpack this product, we're looking at the twin Frozer 8 cooler. On the side that is visible, the MSI logo is lit by RGB LEDs, as well as some surface stripes that we can see above. Also, Note that the device has two 8-pin PCIe connectors for its power, which secures maximum consumption of 230 volts. On the inside, we find a PCI Express 4.0 x 16 connector for connecting to the motherboard, while on the outside we have four video outputs, three DisplayPort 1.4 connectors, and an HDMI 2.1 connector. Therefore, the card allows you to stream video in 8K at 120Hz, as well as 4K at 144Hz. On the back side, we find a metal background that covers the entire PCB, which helps a bit in cooling the core and memory with three thermal pads. MSI Radeon RX 6700 XT Gaming X is based on Navi 22 core RDNA2 architecture, 
It consists of 2560 cores and 40 ray accelerators, cores that AMD promises to compete with ray tracing calculations, albeit with a slightly different approach than NVIDIA. Frequencies start from a base of 1577 MHz to 2654 MHz in boost mode, although they dynamically adjust to load and temperatures. Around it, we find 12 GB of GDDR6 memory at 8000 MHz, signed by Samsung, which is effective at 16 GHz, connected via 122-bit bus, so it achieves a bandwidth of 384 GB per second. Also included in the mix is a powerful 12-phase VRM, which promises to handle the card's 230-volt consumption without any problems. The MSI Radeon RX 6700 XT Gaming X arrives on the market to bridge the gap between the RTX 3060 Ti and the RTX 3070, placing itself halfway between them and perfect performance. For those who play in QHD at 120 to 144 Hz with minimal reduction in filters, and even in UHD at 60 Hz, if you have a state-of-the-art computer, you'll get a slight dose of additional performance thanks to smart access memory technology, which provides about 5 to 10% more. Good stuff, a thumbs up from here. Up next, the silver medal and the title of the runner-up best budget graphics card in 2022 quite rightly went to the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 3070. If there is one card that currently makes up the GeForce RTX 3000 family, that's what takes it to be the best seller, it's the RTX 3070. If you look at the specs sheet, you'll see that the GeForce RTX 3070 GPU has more than just about anything the GeForce RTX 2070 Super GPU manages to do. More transistors, more CUDA cores, RT, and complete units. It also has a higher cache level. The most demanding usage scenario that a GPU can handle today requires a combination of 2160p resolution and ray tracing rendering. So this is where Ampere commits the architecture to paper. They integrate a significantly higher number of CUDA cores. These cores are responsible for performing the complex calculations that the GPU faces to solve, among other tasks, general lighting, shading, anti-aliasing, or physics. These algorithms benefit from an architecture that prioritizes high parallelism, so each new generation of NVIDIA GPUs includes multiple CUDA cores. The GPU of the GeForce RTX 3070 graphics card that we're looking at has 5888 cores of this type. They include multiple RT ray tracing cores. These are the units that are specifically responsible for taking on much of the computational effort required to render images using ray tracing, relieving other functional units of the GPU that are not capable of doing this work from this stress. GeForce RTX 3000 implements the standard 2.1 HDMI port. There is no doubt that this is great news because it'll allow us to get more out of our computer when we connect it to a TV of the latest generation that also meets the standard. Also, another interesting innovation introduced by the Ampere architecture is the hardware acceleration of motion blur. From an overall point of view, RTX 3070 performs better in most games than not only RTX 2070 Super, but also RTX 2080 Super. This is a quality product, and all we can do is recommend it. Finally, we present to you the Asus Tough Gaming NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti, the best overall budget graphics card in 2022, the gold medalist for today. When we check the contents of the box, we find a renewed design that we have not seen from the brand until now. A whole new Tough 30 series is designed specifically for gaming, and it shows. We're looking at a long PCV plate with a slightly larger radiator, all this is protected by a matte black metal chassis with details in a brushed finish, giving the product even more personality, as well as helping with ventilation. In fact, it's necessary to mention here the configuration of the three fans. Each of them has a double action axial technology that makes them much more durable over time. If we move to the side of the Asus Tough RTX 3070 Ti, we realize that this is a wide GPU with some separation that might be a little unusual for some users. But there's a clear reason for this better ventilation. Despite this, the device does not lose the gaming aesthetic, allowing us to see the cooling radiators as well as the 8-pin power connectors. As for the power supply, we'll need to bring this behemoth to life with a 750-watt power supply, which is standard if you want to build a PC with some NVIDIA Series 30 graphics. Now going straight to the connectors section, there's a total of three DisplayPort connectors and two HDMIs. Finally, this fellow would not be called gaming if it did not have RGB lighting which is located in the small right corner, more precisely in the brand logo. As for the clock speed, it goes from 1500 MHz to 1580 MHz, while the boost frequencies range from 1725 MHz to 1770 MHz. Overall, this product delivers premium performance at the best possible price-quality ratio. You wanted the best? You got it. So that's it for the best budget graphics cards of 2022. 
Like, comment, and subscribe to receive the notifications about our latest videos.